Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. Why we should chat with men before we come to the Philippines, especially men who are living in the places we plan on visiting or living. I just want to discuss that today. You know, we were talking about loneliness yesterday and how it affects men. You know, human beings, we're social creatures we like to be around other human beings you know as a matter of fact we need each other and this isn't about loneliness but i just want to let you know that no man is an island you know one of the biggest mistakes that we make as men is we come here with the intention of being on our own that we don't want to be around no other expats we don't need anybody's help we got this right I want to remind you, you're 8,000 miles from home. So the importance of a support group, especially before you get here, is very, very important. A support group is like, it's like an insurance policy. You hope you never need it, but it's there if you do. My whole idea of a support group came from my experience with dealing with Filipinos in Louisville, Kentucky, my little small hometown in America, you know, when I brought my wife over there, it's a very powerful group. And it's profound to see. You need a job, they're going to help you. You need a place to stay, they're going to help you. Even so far as to introduce you to somebody, your future husband or wife, it's there. But over here, we have no support. And we don't seek any support. But I just want to let you know, you know, we don't have to be bosom buddies or anything like that. You get the wrong impression. But if I need you, you know, you should be at your post. Well, how many people you need to make a support group, Cal? Well, you don't need a whole lot. You need three, four, five people that are standing on business that you know or walking the walk. If you need a few dollars or whatever it is, they're there. And, uh, support groups, man, are so, so important overseas. But we overlook that. In such a hairy man to just get over here and get with a woman who really can't help you a whole lot when you get over here. Not in the things that you need help. She's never been anywhere, really. She can't tell you anything about just say Cebu, where we spent the last few days. Marilyn knows nothing about Cebu. She couldn't tell me the things I would need to know about Cebu. Where's the U.S. consulate? She doesn't know. But a couple of guys that I ran into while I'm in Cebu, and you'll see their interviews coming up, they knew exactly where the U.S. consulate was, where I can get a nice steak and things like that. But the comment sections and the live stream chats, yeah, they're support groups. Yeah, I'm here with Benjamin, man. Where you from? I'm from Chicago, actually, but I'm originally from London. Yeah, you got that <laughs> Australian, London. Absolutely not. Not Australian, absolutely not. From, uh, from England. How long you been in America? Oh, my God. Uh, not 15, 16 years. But um, you still got the accent? Not really. They say I don't have it, so, but I guess I got a little bit, so it's still there. So you considered a Londoner, right? American, actually, right. I'm a Londoner, but yeah, definitely you're an American. American. Now. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so, well, yeah. How long you been here? I um, just got here, actually. I've been here for like maybe two weeks. Okay. So I got like maybe two more weeks left, so then I'm headed back home. Yeah. Well, good to meet you, man. Y'all yeah, met absolutely. this guy. Truly We're here pleasure. in IT Park. Yeah, absolutely. And I live like literally right over 38 place over there. Yeah. So, yeah, nice loving well, it every it. bit of everything you talked about is absolutely spot on. Well, I appreciate man, it. Thank you, man. Continue to make that great content, all right? <laughs> thank Truly you, man. Thank you. Nice care, meeting man. both of you all. Okay. All right, bye, take man. Take care. Sure, sure. Comment sections and live streams, these are just places where people come together to hang out and conversate. We just want to take it one step further and make it personal. You don't need a lot of people. But it's not a matter of if, but when. You're going to need help over here. And it's not always money. I learned a long time ago. 
This is the reason why I decided to start a support group on my channel. I used to come here 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, crickets, nobody to talk to. If you saw an expat, he would walk right by you. I don't know why. I don't know why that was. Sometimes it happens now. But I built a great support group around myself, and I would suggest you do that. We were with John Smulo. Y'all know him, the Purple Cow. We ran into him. This is actually where I met you before. Yes, yes. So great to see you back here in Cebu again. Yeah, about, what was that, two years ago? Yeah, two years Probably. ago. Probably. Yeah. yeah, we went around uh, Tops. To Tops, Temple Leia. Yes. You were married then. I was married then, single guy now. Yes. All right, and ready to mingle. I'm definitely ready to mingle. This guy's like a celebrity because hell, she wanted to take a picture with him, not me. What's going on? You get recognized a lot here? I do. Not like you. This is the real famous no, guy no. Uh, uh, over here. But maybe I get, you know, noticed every once in a while. This guy, every five minutes, somebody's going to say hi. But I'm going to say this. I, I know you're busy. The first, very first time I saw you was the night before Hurricane, I mean, Typhoon Day. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. I saw you in a Yala Mall. Yes, yes. You are at the ice cream place. You and your date. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good memory. Never knew that... The next day. Yeah, Typhoon Odad over here was really crazy. So, Wasn't it? You know, for at least six weeks, there's no electricity, no water. Some places out here, like in Bohol, they didn't have electricity for six months. Yeah, yeah. it's the worst. I've been coming to the Philippines all and all for 50, over 15 years. It's the worst I've ever seen. For, for me, I haven't been as long as you, but, you know, I've been coming over here for years as well. And that was honestly the scariest night of my life. You know, I'm not embarrassed to say it. It was pretty scary when that typhoon came here. You know, the high-rise condos, they're kind of going like this for hours. Yeah, I was on the 46th floor. I made a video while it was all going on. Because yeah. I thought that was going to be the end of me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. understand. I felt the same way. I was on the 26th floor. But, you know, the building really held up pretty well. So some people are worried about infrastructure here. But, you know, as we talked about, there's there's some pretty good infrastructure here. I'm glad you brought that up because we're right here in IT Park. Be honest, man. With that talk about, all oh, the Philippine infrastructure, does it get any better than this? I mean, how yeah. could it get any better Yeah, it, when you're talking about infrastructure? Yeah, I agree. So, I mean, I have an office down here for, for my business. And, uh, you know, there's about 30,000, 40,000 people that work down here. I, I mean, I can't even count how many high-rise buildings are in this area and uh, I think they do a great job. Well thank you John, I appreciate it man. I know Pleasure how busy to see you. you are. This Pleasure guy's a celebrity you. by the way. <laughs> I'm nothing compared to him. <laughs> Thanks Calvin. Okay. When my wife left to go back to America in 2019, she had no job, she had no place to stay, but that support group was waiting. I would even go as far to say that the man that she's been with for the last five years was probably introduced to her by the group. We have no such support groups here. There's a few scattered around the Philippines, but in my opinion, not enough. So that's why I'm making this video. Start chatting, start connecting with men before you get here. It make it a whole lot easier, man. I tell you what. Your trip would be a whole lot better if you had a man waiting for you at that airport instead of some woman. Your pocket's certainly going to be fatter. You're really going to see the Philippines that everybody brags about. See, I remind you all the time. This place is everything that people say it is. All the sugary stuff. But once you get involved with a woman over here, all that goes out the window. You're in a whole different universe. All bets are off. There's no telling what you're going to experience over here. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. I just wanted to remind you how important connecting with other expats is over here in the Philippines, or overseas, wherever you are. So if you're in America, in the Philippines, Thailand, find in your heart to help somebody. It's not a day goes by that I don't help somebody. Because if I don't know anything else, I know there's one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. See you next time. And don't do anything stupid. Stop sneaking over here and avoiding other expats. Start making connections. Thank me now.
Thank you.